She stood about five foot ten. She had a bright smile that could really light up a room. She also had a wide frame and she wore a jerry curl. Who was this? This was a lady that impacted my world. She was my fifth and sixth grade teacher, Miss Golightly. And she had a way in the classroom that was so powerful. She had so much charisma, but she had so much love that she gave us in the classroom and it impacted my life still unto this very day. What does this have to do with grants, Rodney? Well, it has everything to do with grants. You see, I've been able to help a lot of schools and districts and organizations to raise a lot of money, over 357 some odd million dollars. But none of that would have happened if this lady would not have fought for me the way she did when I was in her classroom. She fought for me, she fought for other students. When they wanted to put me in some special classes, she said no, and she stood up for me, and she stood up for the other students because she saw something and she was willing to invest into us and to pull out the very best, even though others were trying to segment and put us in various places. Now, why is this important? I wanna tell you why it's important because as it relates to getting grant funding, many of you right now are teaching in your classrooms and you're wanting to get other resources to do even more good for your classroom, just like she did. Now, what she did that was so powerful she went and took us on some special trips, some trips on some Saturdays. I never will forget going to this ranch that she had called Dude Ranch. And she took about 20 of us and we went over on a Saturday. And she reached into her own pockets to make that a reality. It's impacted me to this very day. And I know that once we help your school or district to get additional funds, you'll be able to do even more good in a very similar way. So with that said, What's this whole thing about grants, Rodney? Well, I wanna tell you about what your school can do or what you can do as a teacher yourself to go over and above and to begin to secure grant funding for your students, for your classrooms, for your activities, for your field trips, for those special activities right now that maybe the district has told you, hey, we don't have the budget for that. And I wanna show you what you can do right now to start bringing some of those resources into your classrooms. I have the pleasure of getting a chance to work with a lot of different educators. Some I've worked at with the Education Grants Conference, others I've worked at that have come to some of our trainings. But I wanna share with you right now a framework a framework that can help you to start going about getting grant funding. And this is advice that I would give to a school that was serious about trying to get some funds in the form of grants. So what would I recommend? Well, I'm gonna tell you real quickly. Uh, I'm gonna use first as a framework, the term desire. The first thing you have to do, if you're gonna really get grant funding, you have to have a desire to get grant funding. And that desire, is the acronym that I want to use to help you to see what you need to do to go about getting grant funding. So when I say desire, the first thing that you want to do if you're going to be serious about going after grants for your school, the first thing I want to encourage you to do is D. First, I want you to make a discovery. You've got to discover what opportunities are out there for your school. And that discovery is very important because if you don't know what the opportunities are, you can't go after the grants. So you have to take the time to do that. The E that's a part of the desire is you have to educate yourself on knowing how to get grant funding. Okay, You have to know how to go about doing the research. You have to also know about where those opportunities exist. You have to also know how to prepare a proper proposal and application that will situate your school in such a way where you will give yourself the, the greatest advantage of possibly getting funded. The next thing that you have to do is S, you have to strategize. And by strategize, I wanna say this in essence, your school should strategize, and this should be where you pull together a team that starts strategizing after going after grant funding. In addition to that, as you get your strategy, you have to next take the I, initiative. You got to take the initiative to start applying for grants. You got to find those opportunities and then you have to apply for those grants that your school or district qualifies for. Okay. After you've applied and taken that initiative, you got to next do the R. You have to review, see how things are going. How is it working out? 
Are, are you doing the grants properly? Are there things you can tweak that you can make better? So there's a review element. And then the, the next thing that you have to do is you have to continue to look and do that final E. And that final E is you have to explore the opportunities. Too often right now, most of the schools don't even know about the opportunities, let alone are they exploiting the opportunities and taking advantage of it. So that's the basic framework. I'm gonna go deeper and I wanna show you where those grants are and I wanna show you how you can start going after those grants so that you can get funding for your school. So check out the, the next link below or the next video and, and stay tuned because I wanna help you to go about getting funds for your school so that you can be another Miss Go Lightly who can impact your students in your town and in your city and, and do things that can leave an indelible impression upon them. All the best and I'll talk to you soon. Remember, take charge.